Hey y'all, it's Monday. I just woke up. Well, that's not true. I just got out of bed. It's 8.07. I'm working from home today because we're having a snow day. Honestly, who would have ever thought that would be happening in like South Central Texas. I live in San Antonio. Um, and we got like inches, like several inches. I haven't looked out front yet, but the back, like even our patio is covered, like the wind blew it up on our patio too. Um, I thought Chance was gonna go running through it, but he just kind of like walked on the patio. Do you wanna go back out? He's very unsure. Let me see if I can show you what he does outside. But seriously, do not judge our um, patio. We haven't bought patio furniture. And when my sister was here a couple months ago, we had to pull out like the soccer mom chairs and they're still out here so our patio looks okay are you ready you need to go out go potty go out there okay see those are the chairs i was talking about but you guys like seriously this is wild like oh my gosh Hey, you gotta go potty? <laughs> oh no, it's Grinch. Is that your Grinch? <laughs> His Grinch toy. Oh, Hutchie boy. You're not gonna like that. You're not gonna like that. Oh my God. Okay, it's freezing. No, Hutchie, you're not, you can't go outside. You're too little. You can get lost in the snow. Okay, go potty and then come back in. It's cold. <laughs> you can't. Oh, okay, goodness. Okay, anyways, that didn't last long. He ran back inside. He, like, doesn't really know what to do. He's confused. Uh, look, he's like, I want to go out. But then when I start to shut the door, he runs back in like he doesn't want to be out there alone. But it's freezing and I'm in shorts right now. You need to go potty? Okay, I'm going to have to let him out for me a second. Okay, he actually loves the cold. I think he just like is confused by the snow. Anyways, we're about to make some coffee. So the snow day couldn't have come at a better time because yesterday was Valentine's Day. Um, and we obviously just like chilled at home. We made steak and potatoes and green beans that was um morgan like recreated the first meal he ever cooked me so sweet um so we had that and which we haven't had in a while like we haven't we used to do steak all the time when we first started dating um like filet like expensive freaking steak we would cook that all the time and we never do it anymore so that was really fun for us um I'm really supposed to y'all do because we do like eight at once. Trying to use less, so we're just gonna use eight today. Um, but yeah, we had a really just like super relaxing, didn't really do anything like house related or anything like that. So, oh no, that's not good. Okay, so. The dilemma that I just reached is our kitchen faucet is not turning on, <laughs> which makes me think we like covered our pipes. Well, we thought we did, <clears throat> but there's like one in the back and then one on this side of the house, like on the outside. Um, we didn't even look over here. I mean, I didn't think about it. We did like our hose, um, spigot things like, did we forget one on like you know this is texas we don't freaking know what to do i don't know i guess we should have left it dripping i'm not sure i mean we had it running until late last night but yeah nothing not a thing i'm gonna leave <clears throat> we've ha been leaving these open but they were closed when i woke up so i don't know it's not even cold down there so let's hope we didn't freaking ruin anything that we have to pay for. Ugh. 
Um, anyways, it's a snow day. We still have some stuff out from dinner yesterday. Um, look at how gorgeous these flowers are. I'm so obsessed with them. They're so cute. So, and I got Morgan like all, he's obsessed with gummies. So I got him those. I got him two packages of the Coke bottle ones. If y'all ever have those, the Happy Cola, they're really good. And I got him just like a Valentine's pack, gold bears. I got him two of the Lindor truffle packages um, with like, I think they come with two in a pack. <clears throat> so good. He got me Reese's hearts um, and he got Great American Cookie, my fave. Um, we finished it last night though. We just got the little double doozies, which is basically a cookie sandwich with icing in the middle. And it was awesome. So that's what we had. Um, and then he got me, I'll have to show it to you guys later, a crock pot that I've been wanting. So I'm so excited. Um, mine, it, mine works fine. I'm probably going to keep it, but the like knob, the like metal chrome on the knob has like peeled off and you can't really see if it's on like low warm or hot or high or whatever um so anyways I have just been like eyeing one and he got it for me yay and then um I got him a golf lesson he's been wanting I actually need to email the guy and see if we can move it because like it's snowing he's supposed to have it this Friday and I don't think it's gonna be I mean it's not gonna be snow on Friday but it's not gonna be that much warmer so I might move it to like a couple weeks from now but I got him a golf lesson and some sunglasses, but the sunglasses we decided don't look good on him. So he picked out a new pair and I ordered them. They should be here Wednesday, but with the weather, they could be here by the end of the week. I'm not sure. So we'll see, but I'm going to have some coffee. I'll talk with you guys in a little bit. Okay. So I finished, um, like what I need to do as far as like absolute must do's for work on Monday. Um, it's about, what time is it? 10, 15. And I'm going to have two of these banana chocolate chip muffins, 120 calories a piece, um, three grams of protein. So really not a good, obviously not a good protein source, but um, 240 calories and I'm having a second cup of coffee. And I'm gonna go into the home office and package up, uh, basically just pre-package the planners in the plastic with the sticker so they're ready to package throughout the week when we get orders. cable and internet is out <laughs> it just cut out I like turned on the TV and maybe got to watch 10 minutes of Food Network and the TV went and said like you don't have like this channel is unavailable now all the channels say that and then my phone gave me the like the notice it's like um, Wi-Fi not working like use cellular data or whatever so Morgan's mom I'm kind of thinking like okay what can I do then with and I can't even get my Text messages to work. I just got another error for the same text I've been trying to send for 10 minutes. You want to go outside? Okay, hold on. So Morgan's mom for Christmas got me, we did Christmas like in January, and she got me these spice jars to organize all of my spices. And these are so cool because they come with these labels, which I assume are clear. Yeah, they're clear. And... They come with these black ones, and I can't decide. There's also some on Etsy that I really like. Um, so I don't know. I haven't decided yet which ones I'm going to use, but I think I might do these and just keep it really simple. And then to go, oh, also this thing comes with a funnel. Sorry. So it comes with a funnel, which is so cool and like so handy for other things. There was something the other day that I was like, dang, I really wish we had a funnel. And now we do. So cool. Let me let the dog out and then I'll show you the other thing that she got me. Okay. She also got me this, which sits in the drawer and it 
you can separate them or they sit together and you can expand them, you know, as much as you need, uh, which is so freaking cool. So they sit in your drawer like this and then you just lay, well, they probably sit like this. And then you just lay these in the drawer so that you can see everything. So I'm gonna do this and I'll show you guys the finished product. Okay, that was a labor of love and I wish I had a before, but this is how it looks. And I'm really, really obsessed with it. It looks so good. So I put all of my like most used seasonings um, sort of in the front. And then back here I have like the pumpkin pie spice, cinnamon sugar, and then as we grow our spices, I have some extras, so it's perfect. And I also, so these are the ones I was using. They always tipped over. Half of them are like stuck in the bottom. I've had those for years. Um, but up here I left our like main seasonings that they didn't have um, labels for that I just wanted to make sure I knew exactly what it was. Um, so I left those up here. Lots of pepper for some reason. We've got our Paul, uh, Paul Perdone over here. Crushed red pepper just because the caps that come on the ones that I bought or the ones that I got, I don't think the holes are big enough for the crushed red pepper. So I left that there. We've got some salmon seasoning. And then up here is where we keep like our bigger things. Tony's... Um, you know, broths, ranch, that kind of thing. And we still have our packets right here. So there we go. Okay, for lunch, I made two of these little sandwiches. I actually put the bottom on the top on this one, but mayo, mustard, Colby Jack cheese, and some ham, wavy chips, like wavy lays basically. Um, this is the roll that I'm using, just the typical. And then I have a Diet Dr. Pepper. This was part of my Valentine's basket. And that is my lunch for today. Hey y'all, it's Tuesday now. Uh, I'm just making coffee. It's like 8.20 and our internet and cable, sorry, that's the coffee pot. Our internet and cable is still not working. My phone hardly works. Like I can make calls outside, but they drop half the time. So I've had so many work calls this morning. We're just basically paying phone tag. I think I finally got it, waiting to hear back from one person about something and then I should be, you know, there's no more dumpster fires, so we should be good to go. Currently making coffee. I'm wearing Morgan's jacket because it's freezing and I had to run outside. <laughs> I think I have all my true crime, like, podcasts downloaded, so since nothing works, we have no TV, you know, internet, our phones don't work, but I do have podcasts downloaded. Um, I think I'm going to meal plan, maybe get out some of my cookbooks, and then try to just, like, our, can't even wash clothes right now, our washer won't put any water in the thing i don't know if that means that pipe is frozen but our kitchen is fine now our sink came back and it's working fine so i'm gonna put this back on a drip actually so anyways making coffee just gonna do some stuff around the house like i said meal planning i've got some cookbooks these are all clean dishes i was able to wash yesterday we're not going to try to use the dishwasher since the like clothes washer isn't it's like working but there's no like the water isn't being added so I keep just turning it off um because I'm worried it's gonna like mess up my washer I just tested it again this morning still not working so that's okay but I need to put those dishes away um you know just kind of clean up the house I have some stuff I can hang up that was just in the dryer so pretty much what we've got going on. It's, um, we're lucky, so lucky that we haven't lost power. My sister lives in Austin, which is about an hour and a half north of us. And she lost power Sunday night and it's Tuesday and she still doesn't have it. So they're going to a hotel today because I'm there freezing. It's that she said that they woke up and it's like 45 degrees in their house. It's like in the teens right now outside. Um, our you'll see how snowy it is out there everyone's home everybody on our street is home right now nobody has gone to work so so anyways um yeah crazy couple of days I honestly would love these snow days if I could actually have internet and be able to get some stuff done I can like film and edit but I can't upload anything I can't design any um graphics or thumbnails because I use the internet to do so so I really don't even know if I have anything I can edit today. I'll have to check to see what I filmed. But 
snow day 2021. <laughs> I don't think I'll be going into the office at all today. Um, there's just, nobody can go in. So there's just not a lot going on. We're just trying to finish up payroll today and that's it. So anyways, I'll talk to you guys a little bit later. This is when you try to make me fall. Convince me it's true. But you didn't even have to try. Cause you can start a fire without a spark. Forget what I told you. Forget all about that tonight. Just remember the flame. You remember the flame. Forget what I told you. Forget all about that tonight. Just remember the flame. Okay, y'all, so we're still not having any luck with cable or internet or cell service, but I'm about to make some banana bread. Um, I can't look up a recipe. I don't know one off the top of my head, and this is the closest that I can find in my cookbook. So Mel's Banana Muffins. This is from Trisha Yearwood, um, and I'm just gonna make it in a loaf pan. And I think I am going to add the blueberries as well. So that is the plan. We've got some extra ripe bananas that need to be used up. So here are the ingredients, plus two bananas and probably a half cup of blueberries. You tell me what you're thinking, or maybe you will give me all the blame, but I'm moving on. I just have to make sure that you know. looks amazing the outside a little burnt um probably shouldn't have converted it to a loaf pan i guess it just should be a muffin recipe but i just thought you could interchange those things honestly but it looks delicious so i'll let you guys know how it is whenever we try it hey y'all so i'm editing this video right now um, i actually edited majority of it without internet because it went out again um, I guess last night Morgan said, and it just came back about 20 minutes ago, and it's 11.42 right now. So, hoping that we can hang on to the internet today just so I can get some stuff done and we have, like, some form of entertainment. I read through, like, every one of my cookbooks, organized the fridge and the spices, made banana bread, but we're out of eggs, so I can't really do much more baking. Um, I have done a couple Instant Pot recipes, so I'll have an Instant Pot video out um, in the next couple of weeks, probably a week or two. So that's fun. Um, but yeah, we're just hanging on to it right now. We have been really lucky. We haven't lost power at all. My sister, however, in Austin still doesn't have power. She went to a hotel last night and this morning, I guess they lost power and told everybody they have to leave by 2 PM today. So she's trying to figure out what their game plan is going to be. We just don't know if driving down I-35 is a good idea. For her to like come to stay with either me or my parents so they're gonna wait till two like until they possibly have to leave that hotel she said it's still very warm um they have two dogs with them so i think they have a friend's house they could go to but their friend's house is pretty crowded it's a little bit south of austin so they might try to stay there we're not really sure yet but i'm still having coffee today I had some of that banana bread it's good i would rate it like if I didn't burn it, it would be like an 8 out of 10. Um, it's not super like sweet or anything, uh, but it's good. Um, I added a little bit of butter to mine, and it was really delicious this morning. But the burnt, you know, kind of makes it like a 5 out of 10 <laughs> recipe. I wish I had more eggs because I would totally do some more baking. But that's it for now. I hope that if y'all are in this crazy winter storm, you're staying safe and staying warm. Sorry I'm so congested. Story of my life. Uh, but yeah, I still haven't gotten into work. 
we're just trying to see what happens. It looks like more snow possibly tonight, which will be crazy. So I don't know. We'll just see. But me and Morgan are safe and warm with the pets and we're doing really well. So thanks for watching this vlog and I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye.